Okay, well, here's the uh, raspberry pie. I'm going to open that up and see what we got. Here's the box that comes in. Um, wow, it's pretty small. can see it's uh, pretty small, smaller than a cell phone, maybe about the size of a credit card. I have a power supply in here and there's the power supply. Just a small regulated wall wart with a micro USB connector. That's the right connector for the Raspberry Pi. Also have a cheap uh, keyboard and mouse here, which I'll uh, get to in a minute. I also bought a uh, what they call a clamshell box for the Raspberry Pi. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Cute. Well, not sure how this works. I guess it just uh, goes in there like that. Something like that. Well, we'll worry about that later. I also uh, cheated, sort of, took the easy way out, bought a pre-formatted SD card uh, with uh, Debian Linux on it already. So, like I said, that was uh, the lazy way out, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get this up and running quickly. And that... Uh, SD card goes in the socket on the bottom like that and that should be it so we'll uh, get the keyboard and display and everything hooked up see what happens okay here's our six dollar mouse uh, seven dollar keyboard so hopefully that will work and we'll we also have HDMI to DVI adapter hopefully that'll work with the uh, DVI display I already have well it's powered on mouse is alive and the display works. How about that? So I'm going to go through some configurations and uh, try to get the uh, the GUI running. That's uh, pretty cool. Well, it's booting. Still booting. And there's the login prompt. How about that? Okay, there's the uh, login. We'll uh, start uh, X Windows. Whoops. Got a typo, right? Nope. 
How about that? Got a mouse. Sweet. Okay, now we got to connect uh, Ethernet to my uh, network, which is off this uh, wireless router, which is actually a bridge to my uh, main network upstairs. So we'll do that and see what happens. And I'm still running. Alright, I've unplugged it, connected the uh, network up. Of course, my monitor reverted back to the VGA input, which is this computer, so I've got to fix that. Set it to DVI and plug in the Raspberry Pi, and it should start booting. Something's happened. Oh, there it goes. I've got uh, some more lights on now, Ethernet lights. NTP started and SSHD started all by itself. Nice. Oops, wrong keyboard. Log in. Start X. And that's all. It's all good there. Now one thing you got to remember is you don't want to just pull the power on this thing. It is a Linux file system and that's not good. It might corrupt it. So before you pull the power, you always want to do a shutdown. There's a couple of ways to do that. You can do it right here. Log out. Okay, and then sudo Oh, keep using the wrong keyboard. sudo alt. That's the uh, quickest way to do it. Wait for it to shut down. Okay, and the activity light is off and the DVI has turned off and that's reverted back to the VGA on the other computer so now it's safe to unplug alright so the whole purpose of connecting the network here was to be able to uh, log into this board remotely and work on it from upstairs or anywhere so uh, let's reboot the thing The green light is blinking. That's uh, file access. Ethernet is up. So while that's booting, we'll uh, log into my regular computer here. Okay, get a terminal window open. Alright, so we're going to SSH into the uh, Raspberry Pi. And the user is pi at, and this is the IP address that it picked up from the router. And the password is raspberry. and we are logged in to the Raspberry Pi and it's got the right time and date that's pretty cool Logged into that. see what's in the home directory not a whole lot let's uh, 
try the C compiler. We'll write a quick, uh, simple C program. Oops. Okay, that should be enough. No errors. Let's see if we got an A dot out. And we do. There you go. Hello world.